SharePoint could be a really good development platform. Now, me being an IT pro, I've got a little bit of an issue with developers that are developing applications for my SharePoint environment, then they haven't come through me to make sure that it's going to do exactly what they say it's going to do. Yes, I will admit that there is a little bit of distrust with, between me and some developers. The reason is that developers will be writing applications that may do certain things not intended. That's where bugs come in. Okay, there hasn't been a developer alive that has written a bug-free program. So, what we really need to do is make sure that we have a development environment where the developer can take their code, deploy it, and make sure that it does exactly what it is intended to do. What we don't want over anything else is that the code lowers our level of security. So that's where code access security comes in. Okay, there's different levels since SharePoint is an ASP.NET application. There's different uh, layers of code access security. Down at the lowest level, we've got minimal. And then we've got low, medium, high, and full. Full trust means I can do anything that the process can do, which means I could shut down the system, I could stop IIS, I could stop this website. All the way down to minimal trust, which means I could just run a certain uh, action and only within this particular environment. So I want to make sure that if the code is going to uh, elevate levels of something else, that should be a red flag because we don't want what is called walking the stack. Let me give you an illustration. Let's say that Joe is 18 years old and Joe wants to go out with his buddies and go drinking, but the drinking age is 21. So Joe goes to his older brother, which is 20 years old, and he's in college. So Joe says to Bill, his brother, hey, Bill, can you help me out? Can you go buy some beer for me so I can go out drinking with my buddies? Well, Bill says, well, yeah, not a problem. I'll help out my younger brother. So even though Bill is not quite 21, he's a member of a fraternity. So he goes to one of his fraternity brothers and says, hey, I need a six pack or whatever so that I can, you know, go out and party. Not telling him, his fraternity brother, that he's actually going to give it to his younger brother, Joe. So the fraternity brother complies, goes to the liquor store, buys the liquor. Why? Because now the liquor store is going to ask for the ID. That person being 21, the liquor store is going to have full trust because it trusts the driver's license of the DMV of this person and will then sell that liquor to the person. The person then takes the liquor, gives it to Bill. Bill then in turn gives it to his brother Joe. Joe then gives it to his friends that are probably 18, 17 years old, and we've got a problem. So this is what typically walking the stack means, is that there is some component in the code that will invoke a process in another piece of code that has more trust than it did. And then what we've got now is a piece of code that actually had no rights and no levels of security actually invoking a process that had a lot of trust and maybe causing a lot of havoc. So what we need to do is do a code review. We want to make sure that the code access security is tight whenever a developer wants to deploy applications in SharePoint.